Ryan Halicki with the WKBN 27 First News Forecast. And continuing to track some rain moving through parts of the area for tonight. This is going to continue for us overnight and then that rain going to change over to snow. So let's get into uh, radar here and monitoring where these locations where we're seeing some of that heavier rain. You see I-79 here, this darker green shade just south of Shakeleyville Center there. Uh, you can see that heavier rain located there and continues off to the south. Uh, now around portions of Clark, PA, Sharpsville, we're seeing that deeper green indicating some of that heavier uh, rain on radar. We just saw that push through Brookfield Circle and uh, now into petroleum there. Sharon Farrell getting in on that even around Colburg and Hubbard Township. Now uh, for Liberty and Girard, it's uh, pushing east of you now over Hubbard, the city of Hubbard, and we'll continue uh, to see that pushing into uh, southern Mercer County and Lawrence County. Youngstown South Side, just our west side there, had some of the heavier rain push through and even point south toward Canfield along 224. Most of what we're seeing on radar into Mahoning County County is showing up a lot lighter, uh, mainly just some sprinkles and light rain, but look for that to get a little bit more persistent overnight. Same goes for Salem, Damascus, Beloit into Columbiana County. It's a lot more spotty for points south there and going to be more of the sprinkle variety for the time being, but you can see off to the west, we got a lot more moisture headed our way. Notice the uh, change over to snow, how that line continues to creep closer to the valley. That too continuing for us overnight as this cold front pushes through the area. There's a cold front here, a leading edge of the cold air that will slide in behind this and that will bring that snow change over overnight. Now based on some of the latest forecast models I've been looking at, looks like about four o'clock in the morning that changeover starting to take place in the northwest Trumbull County by six o'clock into Mercer County and through portions of Mahoning County and then toward uh, seven, eight o'clock in the morning that changeover complete across the area. Now we could have a brief period of a little bit of heavier snow for the most part looking for up to an inch accumulation. Some localized areas could pick up two inches. You see uh, picking up a little heavier swath with the deeper blue there on future forecasts, but snow will quickly taper off tomorrow into the uh, afternoon and evening. Looking for a quiet Sunday night. Monday, not looking too bad either. Just some clouds to deal with. We're going to have to watch closely on Monday. A storm system passing by to the south. There's a very small chance that southern Columbiana County could get clipped with a little light snow, but then the rest of the day Monday looking quiet. Our next storm system arrives Tuesday night into Wednesday. Let's talk temperatures here. They're starting to come down. We were at 45 now coming to 41 and we'll continue continue to watch those numbers fall as cooler air funnels into the area. So while it's still mild, look at Guilford Lake at 48 right now. We're still at 41 in Vienna. We'll watch these numbers start to come down as this cold air funnels in 31 now in Toledo down to 29 in Detroit. That's the air mass that's coming our way. 29 for the low rain will change to snow less than an inch overnight. Scattered snow, especially early Sunday, trace up to an inch. Some localized areas could see up to two inches on the ground by tomorrow afternoon. We'll see 38 for the high Sunday down to 19 Sunday night, partly cloudy and obviously cooler there and the rest of your seven day Monday. As I said, looking quiet, we'll see 27 and then late Tuesday into Wednesday. Another storm system arrives. Now we're going to be watching this one closely as we continue to dig through the forecast models. They're not agreeing on the exact path. This low pressure system will take Wednesday and the path that that takes determines if we're going to see a period of more snow or perhaps the potential for a little freezing rain there or even a mix over to rain. So we'll be watching Wednesday very closely. We'll keep you updated through the weekend and throughout the week.